What's up guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm gonna to apologize in advance. This is not gonna be a pretty lit video. This is gonna be very informative because I am very excited to be showing you guys the new Primera Impressa IP60 uh, photo printer. It's a six by whatever printer. So you can print four by six, two by six, one by six, as long as it's by six. In fact, I did a 15 by six, then it's good to go. I was shooting a few events last year and I didn't really do many prints at events, but I've noticed my com companies that are hiring me are starting to add more of this to their requests. And what I was doing was buying these Canon printers that were taking 35, 40 seconds to print. And although that may sound quick when you have two or three of them, it ended up taking forever. It ended up taking us six hours to print when it should have taken us two hours um, of constant printing. And really it kind of killed the vibe of my business or while we were doing what we were doing there. So I am very excited to announce a seven second printer, but really instead of going through all of the details on how to set it up and what it does, I'm gonna to talk to you guys more about the practical applications of what I had to figure out as a Mac user, as a person that wants to be able to click one button and print everything because they don't have this yet on YouTube or on their websites. So hopefully if you guys are like me and struggling with it, I have figured it out with the help of them, troubleshooting support, and working it out. So let's talk about that right now. So guys, before we get started, uh, here's the setup right now, right? So this is the Primera, this is a little bag that I have. Again, I apologize for the non-pretty litness of everything, um, but that's just where we're at right now. So um, this is the Impressa IP60. And what it is, it's, it's like this seven, eight pound printer that's very freaking light. And it's meant to be portable and travelable, travelable uh, to your events and locations. Um, so it prints four by sixes in about, uh, uh, God, 12 seconds, no, seven seconds, I wanna say, and it costs about 12 cents per print, which is like Costco status on that. Prints a little bit better than Costco. And um, the only trouble is right now they do not have a driver made for Mac. So if you're a Mac user like me, you're kind of screwed. You can use some softwares to go through with Mac, but it just wasn't uh, figuring out uh, the Windows-based system on my Mac. Uh, it is May, end of May right now. I was told in about three months from now they're going to have... Um, the driver set up for Mac. Uh, my event's happening in a month and a half. I couldn't wait. So what I did was I purchased a laptop from a homie of mine for 60 bucks that just ran Windows. And literally this thing is just going to be for this. And that is it. So I'm very, very excited that I figured this out. And I'll show you guys a couple other things that I figured out as well. So while this is booting up, um, this is pretty simple, guys. So it comes with a uh, spool that prints about 500 prints. It comes with a ink cartridge that prints about 500 prints. So one cartridge, one spool will kind of do everything for you. Um, the spools itself costs about $45 for two and the ink costs about $40, $45 for one. So if you're doing a thousand prints at an a event, you need about two of these and then one order of these. And really it's, it's still pretty cheap on what, whatever you're doing. And if you can leave it at home and print, have your kids throw it on there, whatever, you can do that as well. So. So guys, the first issue I had was um, I couldn't download it onto my Mac. So what I was doing was I was taking my Mac and trying to download a software called Parallel. Parallel will allow Windows onto your Mac and you can then use Explorer. You can use everything that Windows based system does. And theoretically, all you have to do with this is plug this in, turn it on, plug a USB cable in the back. If you guys are ordering this by the USB cable, it's $7 through them. It doesn't just come with it, which it should just come with it, but it's seven bucks through them. I had to go to Best Buy and I spent $25 on one. Um, so you plug it in, you plug it into your computer, turn it on and it's ready to go. Put the ink, the paper in, you're good to go. Well, the issue was was with, with the Mac in parallel is that parallel wasn't, uh, recognizing the driver, um, with the system. So it just stuck on while I was initiating, while I was downloading the software, it wouldn't recognize it. So I couldn't download it. Then I had to wait a day, buy this computer from my homie. Uh, luckily it's a PC, it was 60 bucks used for him. Uh, he's a DJ, so he really didn't need it anymore. Uh, I need it for three months because I'll be using my Mac later on. Um, the cool thing also is that you don't need any other software. The software kind of comes with it. So the software that comes with it 
is really cool. It's called Snap, I believe. So they have Primera Snap and they have Primera Print Hub that you're gonna download. Snap is amazing. It's made for uh, this system and really all it does is that it allows you to take your six by whatever and set it up for printing. So you can put uh, your image on here, find the image on your desktop or in an SD card or on a flash drive. As long as it's JPEG, I believe it's fine set it up, send it over, and it'll print right away. So I'm gonna show you guys um, one quick print on that, and hopefully this is not gonna look as ghetto as I think it's gonna look. Um, I'm gonna hold this, we're gonna open up the hub. Oh, this is definitely a PC, and snap, right? So we're gonna open up hub and snap, we're gonna let it go. I hate videos that do this where there's nothing really happening, so in lieu of that, we're gonna do this. So. Um, snap right here. I have some pictures loaded down at the bottom here and all I had to do was to click this ad. It's like, where do you want it coming from? Uh, so I have this loaded picture of Ryan here and um, what I can do here is on the top right, I can just go and hit print. Cool. Copies one, high speed. I don't, I didn't touch anything. The only thing I'm changing here is I'm changing this to glossy. As I was printing yesterday, I just felt like glossy was a little bit more pretty, but I didn't touch anything else. Nothing else was touched and then send print. The hub then comes up on my uh, laptop, telling me what's happening in my queue. Seven seconds later, we get a print, right? So we get this awesome print of Ryan. So that was cool, but then my other issue was going into it was like, hey dude, what if I wanted to print like all five of these right here. One, two, three, four, five. Well, you can't do it with their current system right now. They told me that there might be updates in the future. They said it's a very new gadget, very new product, so they might be able to do it in the future, but that kind of didn't relieve my next thing, right? Because, guys, imagine this. I'm shooting events, large-scale events. I maybe have three or four photographers at the events themselves, and what we need to do is we need to take these memory cards, throw it onto the laptop, and I need to have somebody just mass print, be able to select 50, 60, 70 prints, let the printer do its thing, walk away, get more new cards, and you know, keep that going, right? That's what we need. I can't have somebody clicking image, print, image, print, image, print is going. I mean, even though it prints in seven seconds and it's fast, it's a waste of time. And it's really, really, there's a good chance that you're gonna miss a lot of the prints because you're like, did I print this yet? Did I not? And that's not what we want. So, sending an email yesterday, they, rec they told me that um, there's two options I could do. There's one thing called hot folders, which I have no idea what the frick that is, but basically hot folders is you take an image and you, it's a software or something called hot folders, you drop it in the folder, automatically gets sent to your printer, prints it right away. Since I have no idea what that is, I didn't want to do that. Then they told me about another software called Photo Elf, which I'm on a trial right now, but it's $30 to buy, pretty cheap. So um, we are going to show you what Photo Elf is doing. But before we do that, let me show you a little bit more about this software real quick. So the cool thing about this software is, you notice how everything says six right here. Let me get a little closer for you guys. Six and four, but basically I can then, since it is a, uh, a six by whatever print, I can actually make this smaller or bigger. And I can print just what I want. And what's going to happen is the thinner I make this, the longer the print's going to be. So this one's going to be like a 6 by 186, which is cool. So it'll print sideways 186 if I print it. So this shows where the printer's going to be printing from. Um, but I did like uh, a 15 here before. So I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, hit this thing. Sorry, I'm doing one hand here. So 19. So this is basically like, if I had it right here and it's going to print through the top, which is this way, right? Which is a six. Uh, it'll be a 19 by six, which is super long. So make sure that you guys are looking at that while you're doing it. I would just leave it as a four by six. I'm gonna close this baby. And we're gonna open up Photo Elf. We're on a trial right now. But I do wanna show you guys this. So I'm just gonna go start Elf. I think it's like two weeks, so I'll buy it when it gets to the end. Your trial period is over. You will be allowed to enter Photo Elf just three more times. Cool. Uh, I'm going to buy it, so whatever. It comes up with this how to print. I It literally took me maybe five minutes to figure out how it works. So on the left here, you can find all your prints. We can go, oh God, sorry guys. Uh, Alexa, turn off office lights. Sorry if you have an Alexa at your house. Okay. All right, maybe it's a little bit better. So basically you can click this button. It shows all the prints. These are the same exact prints that I had before. 
or I can click it again just to show me these. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to click all. And if you go to print right now, since it is connected, it does read the um, Impressa IP60 and it doesn't, uh, you don't need any more software, you don't need any more editing or anything to, to make it work. It's automatically just going to work. But if you select them all and then just go to print, what's going to happen is you're going to get a layout. So know that whatever the layout looks like is how it's going to print. This layout right here, I got confused. I was like, oh, cool. It's all sixes. It's five of them. When I print, it's going to print it all at once. What happens when I print this right here, send page to printer, print, it will literally print this photo. Alexa, turn on office lights. in seven seconds, right? So that looks like that. So then I was like, dude, getting confused. Sorry if you're watching this video and you're like, bro, get to the point. Um, forward to the point. So from there, guys, what I'm then doing is I was like, there has to be a way, right? So I'm going to close this out. Yes, I would like to close you. And then I'm going to go to, um, I, I just kind of playing with this. I found batch print, batch print. Cool. Kind of tells you what to do here, the little notes on uh, how to batch print, what to batch print, and all that fun stuff. But if you look over here, guys, I noticed this. One photo per page, two photos per page, and four photos per page. This right here is telling you how to create a template and what you need to do. I'm just under predefined templates, which is totally fine. My printer only prints four by sixes or six by whatever. Um, and since I'm shooting my JPEGs as a two by three ratio, which is a four by six, I don't have to do anything. If you guys are cropping or changing your prints or cropping it out before printing, you might have an issue. You can work on that yourself. I don't think you should do that, especially at these events. Um, but maybe a five by seven or something, but I'm sticking to four by sixes because I'm keeping it simple. So I'm just going to click one page, one photo per page. And if you look right there, I do have um, the first picture ready to go. You can preview pages if you're worried about it before printing. So I'm going to preview it. But if you see up here, the list five start batch preview, previewing page, continue. Yes. One, two. So you can preview it just like that. I'm going to cancel it. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send batch to printer. So it's going to do five, Number of sheets of paper required, five. Number of copies per print, one. If you're shooting an event where maybe you're doing duplicates for somebody or using this actually as a photo booth item, you can definitely set that to two or three to give to everybody. Um, if you're charging per print, I highly recommend upselling this. Um, what I sometimes do is I charge $2 a print to my client. At the end, we tally it up, 1,000 prints, and we get to charge them $2,000 for the product itself. Start batch print, right? And then the IP, so it's going to load up. So basically, if I had 50 of these, my, my assistant would hit this. Um, all pictures sent. Cool. And then the uh, Primera Print Hub is going to come out. But boom, look. One. Seven seconds. You're going to have to wait with me. But it's basically showing me what's printing right now. The cool thing is, is it shows me uh, the print counter of how many prints. I'm at 21 right now. And it just kind of shows you what's going on. So I can do this, walk away, and tells me the time it was submitted, 1034, and it's printing. Cool. So guys, uh, I am very excited about using this. It's a lot easier than I thought. I'm not a big fan of, of more stuff while I'm shooting. But um, if you guys are looking into this, the reason I made this video is because a lot of the information that I'm telling you guys was nowhere to be found. Um, at all. And it's, since it's a new company, I don't know how big their social media base is. I wanted to make sure that if you guys are getting this, it's, it's amazing. It's on sale for the next like five days to the 31st for like $600. Normally it's $900. Huge steal. They were at WPPI. I did not see them at WPPI. And I think that was just my fault. I'm not looking at printers. Um, but if you're doing photo booth events, parties, it's great to have. Uh, I don't know the shelf life of not printing. That's one thing I want to figure out because I might go like three months without using it. Uh, throw it all in a box or something. Um, you will need Microsoft. You will need uh, the cable that come with it. And you will need Photo Elf or something similar. I just, they told me about Photo Elf. I didn't research anything else. It was 30 bucks. It works perfectly fine with this. I just need my assistant to be able to upload the cards, click all, batch print, walk away, and then come back and put these in little folders for everybody. 
So, if you guys have any questions, comment below. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Uh, if the video helps you in any way, give it a thumbs up and then click that bell for notifications. Please scour my channel and other videos that I've done. Again, this is not the normal setup right here, so I apologize, but I wanted to get this information out to you guys. And uh, this is the Impressa IP60. Hope you're having a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.